grow your beard, grow it long. Never cut your beard because of Babylon, where the people want you to cut and trim your beard, so you fit into the society that's weird. Hello everybody, it's uh, Paul here with the Beard Channel. I just wanted to make a video. I hadn't making a video in a while and I just wanted to let everyone know I'm still around and my beard's still around, going strong. And uh, I did make some adjustments to the beard, but I'm loving it and everyone's loving it. I actually uh, finally uh, decided to clean it up a little and I got a beard trim. I went to a store and, and uh, letting the beard grow long, but I, I, I actually trimmed the sides here. And since my last video, just continuing to do that, uh, feeling uh, good about that uh, and just continuing like I said in the last video getting more accepted uh, in society in different ways and you know I just recently uh, met a man who just let his beard grow all wild and everything else and he just cleaned it up as well and you know his wife spoke to him and asked him to clean it up and he, and he did and you know deep down inside I don't know how he feels but you know he did he did the right thing in my opinion he did the right thing because, you know, his wife is the one that's with him all the time. And she didn't necessarily uh, ask him to, to cut it off. She asked him to just clean it up. So I think she did the right thing and he did the right thing. I think it, it, it's, it's a good thing when that happens. And, uh, you know, he didn't completely ignore her request. And she didn't uh, ask him to do something that was very unreasonable. Now, still, if your heart is not to cut it or trim it or clean it up, uh, that's your heart. Just know there's going to be... Uh, the results you have to deal with of, of that and and they're not necessarily good or bad they're just you got to deal with that uh, and f you know for me you know I'm uh, glad I decided to to, to clean it up and uh, <clears throat> uh, it could have been uh, years before I did but you know at this that time it wasn't right for me to clean it up I didn't feel it was the ideal time but now I felt it was the ideal time for me to clean it up based on my circumstances and life and everything but I just want to get on here and just let everyone know I'm still around and I'm still doing interviews for people uh, that just have beards and hearing the differences and they say and everything else. And uh, one of my favorite, favorite interviews I did not too long ago, and you can see it, I'll put the link below the video, is when uh, I asked uh, the lady what she thought about her husband's beard that was just all out and about. And she just looked at me with a smile and said she loved his eyes. Uh, I thought that was a great reply. <laughs> but... Uh, you know, you have to live with the people you live with and you have to deal with the people that you deal with. So, uh, you know, there are some requests that are unreasonable and there's some requests that, that, that are okay. And, uh, you know, people can be, I don't want to call it stubborn. I could say just a hesitant in just listening to uh, some wise requests sometimes. Uh, but then eventually they come around. So, you know, just uh, to have a beard is the important thing. And uh, that's number one. Uh, the length, the shape, the size, those are all secondary minor issues. The key, main key is uh, that a creative design just to have hair on our face. And, and, and however, what works best for you to do that, uh, do that if you're a man. Okay? And uh, to ladies out there that, that have a man that wants to be a man, uh, let him be a man. And maybe you could uh, help him uh, look like a man that will... Uh, get the feedback that's going to encourage other men to grow a beard and not make it harder for him and, str and, and, and creating a struggle for him. And I think it could all work great, but I think if more women were encouraging to, to help their man be the man they were meant to be, not just tell them to completely get rid of the beard, but just work with them. And I think if men, more men were just open to hearing what their, their spouse had to say about uh, working with them, uh, you know, and understanding the importance of a man having hair on his face, I think the outcome could be good on, on both results. And how wonderful would it be if everywhere, if everywhere we went, uh, men had beards uh, and or at least hair on their face of some sort. You know, a lot of men say they can't grow a beard, they can't grow hair on their face. Well, just to stop shaving. Let's put uh, the, the razor blade companies out of business. How's that? And, and, you know, if you want to trim it up or if you want to keep it neater or, or, or wilder or however, some, some people want it the opposite. I, I've met women that say they don't want their husband to touch their beard. They just want it all out and crazy and so on. And, you know, and some men might want it cleaner or need a cleaner for work or something else. But have hair on your face is the point, man. You know, our creator put it there. He wants it there. And, uh, and, and that's what a man is. A man has hair on his face. 
So uh, the first transgender people in history were the people that shaved. So, all right, uh, put your comments or questions below the video. I am back, I'm around, I'm here. I'm gonna be doing a lot more interviews and so on. And thanks for checking me out today and have a great day and beard on. Grow your beard, grow it long. Never cut your beard because of Babylon where the people want you to cut and trim your beard. So you fit into the society that's weird.